what would have happened to them had he killed me. A wounded wife and mom speaks out after battlefield stress allegedly triggers her husband's violence on the home front. She is trying to put her life back together while her husband, an Iraqi war veteran, is behind bars accused of shooting her with an AK-47. He says he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. Only on 5, News Channel 5's Brian Enton is live at Delray Medical Center where the woman continues her struggle two weeks after the shooting. Brian? Kelly, Samantha Brown was just moved to the rehab portion of the hospital. She says her husband came home from war with PTSD. She does not blame him for that, but she says she does blame him for not getting the help that he needed. And she says now she's the one paying the price. Okay. This is Samantha Brown's new life, unable to walk, shot in both legs. There she is. I just don't understand how you can tell somebody that you love them and then you can commit something so horrible. Samantha's husband, Adam Brown, the father of her two children, told police he, quote, flipped out. Her PTSD is no joke, you know? Um, but like I said, I don't think anybody's ever going to really know what the cause of him doing this was. So to pinpoint it to one thing I think is unfair. Yeah. Brown told police he only remembers holding the AK-47 and hearing the gunshots. Samantha says he stopped his PTSD treatment. Experiencing the things that he experienced is going to change anybody. Yeah. It's just a matter of how you deal with it. And I don't think that he dealt with it properly. Um, I think that he didn't try as hard as he should have. Samantha says her motivation now is her children. I just told them, you know, mommy had an accident and they, they're amazing. You know, they come in all smiles, you know, and they really, they do it for me and they make me happy. You know, at the end of the day, they're innocent in this and he loves them. And I never for a day or for a second dispute the fact that he loves them. I know he does. So that's another reason I hope he gets the help that he needs because I do want him to be a part of their lives. But right now, that's just not a possibility. Brown says she removed all of the guns from their home as a precaution. She didn't know about the AK-47, and she warns anyone in a violent relationship to leave. If he can do this, what else could he do? You know, and, that, and that's what scares me the most, and that's why I'm so adamant about him getting help because... I don't want anybody to ever have to suffer this again. Adam Brown remains behind bars right now with no bond. Samantha's biggest concern is how she's going to work to support her children once she gets out of the hospital. If you'd like to help her and her family, we have a link on WPTV.com. Just look for this story. Live in Delray Beach, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.